Okay. You sure you don't want me no. to carry that? No, fine. <laughs> just look after yourself. Look, I have a cup oh. here. Well, I can pour, I think. You sure? Yeah. I think I can. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Take it. You all right, Catherine? Fine. You were all right. I, I don't mean physically, I am. You know, I'm... I don't mean to pry. No. Um... No, I... I there's... I can't tell Robert about it. There's... Uh, I mean, I've put him through so much worry already. You know, every time I think about it, I keep... I keep reliving it in my mind. And it was so... It was so horrible. I'm sorry. Oh, darling. It's all right. It's all right. Now you, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to have gone through. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, I mean, I think I need to talk to someone about it, especially a woman. You know, Paul, Paul was so out of his mind. He was capable of doing just about anything to me. And I was, God, I know how you must have felt. It takes time to get over stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not sure I ever will. Yes, you will, you will. You have to believe that. Please. Time heals everything, it really does. Do, do you maybe want to talk to Robert about this? Uh. There's something I can't talk to Robert about. I'm not sure I can talk to anybody about it. It was, um, it's really, really terrible and, uh, even worse than my fear of dying. Do you want to tell me? I, I thought he was going to rape me. He didn't, but he could have, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't keep fighting him off forever. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Catherine. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Thank you for listening to me. It's all right. You need to talk about this. You know, you mustn't keep this bottled up inside. You need to talk about this. I don't get it. Okay. I'm not going to do it. Okay. I was just telling Dad about how much fighting. Mm -hmm. Don't believe it for one. We were also learning the the art of cookie making. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. And I made good ones. Oh, she sure Good did. cookies and bad cookies. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a good cookie. Hey, she don't have that cookie. Uh, it's for you. It's a Mr. Baldwin. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Yes, Scott. Yeah, it is good to be back. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have Cindy. Right. Yeah, we'll meet you at Anna's. Um, um, to tell him um, that he has to go in the back. You have to go in the back way because of the reporters. Did you get that? Good. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Where is he? Airport. That gives us enough time to get to your place. Um, uh, Sean's going with me. Yeah, I am. Right. Yeah, That's you're right. going to stay here. Um, yeah, oh, sweet relax. Relaxed. Uh, you both relax. Yeah, I'll stay here yeah, too. No, sweetheart, you're not. Okay. You're coming with us. I can't stay here. No, you can't stay here. Sweetheart, we'll take your cookies and have a messenger, okay? Good night. Enjoy. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 A partnership. If you had asked me for a favor, it would have been granted immediately. I asked you for a business relationship. And I am a very prudent businessman, Tracy. Of course, I'll have to look over the uh, quarter main holdings and see if there's anything in there that interests me. I'll get the portfolio to you in the morning. How long will you need it? It will take hmm, however long it must. 
No, 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 no. Don't look so distressed. I'm too much of a gentleman to keep a woman in suspense for too long. Lucky me. Mm. Just give me a little time to look over the uh, figures in the quarter main portfolio. Your chips. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, now, if I were a betting man, which I most assuredly am not, you could bet that I'll find something in there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To my liking. Well, yes, I'd originally made a reservation for London, but I've changed my mind, and I'd like to book a ticket on the first plane to Monte Carlo, if you please. All right. Yes, I've decided to take a little holiday before I return to work. I dare say my funds will grow quite substantially while I'm lolling around on the Côte d'Azur. I'm considered quite a whiz on the old roulette wheel, don't you know? Well, the roulette's a rich man's game. The lottery's more my speed. <laughs> okay, here's your ticket. I'm afraid that you can have a little bit of a wait for the next uh, shuttle to New York City, but there should be no problem with the connection to Europe. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. You had a good trip. Thank you. Quartermain residence? Uh, I'm trying to reach a Dr. Monica Quartermain. Is it she? Oh, good. It's a Detective Crane, New York City Police Department. New York Police? Um, uh, how can I help you? Well, actually, I was trying to reach an Audrey Hardy General Hospital in uh, a place called Port Charles, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's the place. Anyway, when I called uh, the General Hospital, they weren't able to reach her, and somebody suggested I, I try you instead. Oh, is this an emergency? I mean, is someone in Port Charles hurt? No, 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 ma'am. As a matter of fact, um, I could get in trouble making this call to you. Arrest records are supposed to be confidential. What, what's wrong? Well, we've got a girl in jail down here, not much more than a kid, actually, and uh, I just picked her up a little while ago. Yeah? Well, she's got no money. She claims she has no family. And the truth is that we didn't, we didn't find much on her except for an identification card from your general hospital up there. Well, who is she? Well, I got it right here. Actually, she's kind of in some trouble with the law. And I figured, well, somebody ought to help her. Like I said, she is just a kid. Uh, here it is right here. Um, her name is Winthrop. Dawn Winthrop. Dawn, uh, <clears throat> uh, where, where are you holding her? I got that. I got it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And I will be there just as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, Jennings. I was just going to call you. Listen, I need to have you go. Have the car brought around. I need to have you drive me to the airport. Right yes, ma'am. Uh, may I ask where are we going? I I have to just get out of town. Okay. There are a whole lot of reporters out there. Yeah. I once saw the mayor of New York give a speech in there. Weren't that many reporters. No, don't worry. Scott's out there giving them enough blotting to keep them going for a decade. <laughs> I was just afraid they might wake up your daughter. No, she's okay. She's a tough little cookie. So are you. No, I'm not. I wouldn't have run away if that were true. Considering the beating you took, I'm very surprised you came back. I had to, Anna. No, you should take credit for what you did. It took a lot of courage. I didn't have any other choice. Trip to Jerome is the reason my Woody is dead. He's also the reason that your husband's dead. I don't have a lot, Anna, but if I can let Victor Jerome tell me when to shut up, then I don't have anything at all, do I? No, that's the spirit there. Besides, uh, he's already made me suffer. The way they kept on beating and beating on me was worse than if they would have just let me die. He can't do anything else to me. I'm not afraid of him anymore. You're at an advantage, then. 
Because he's very scared of you. Oh, Victor Jerome mm -hmm. is scared mm -hmm. of me? Yes, he is. That big, famous, powerful mobster is very scared of you. Because your testimony will make the difference between whether he goes free or he goes to jail for the rest of his life. Yeah, imagine that. He's afraid of me, huh? <laughs> hmm. So tomorrow, you and I are going to walk into the courtroom together and we're going to watch that man squirm. Oh. <laughs>